Okay, this is a test for hip stability and mobility. It's called the Faber test. So Faber stands for flexion, abduction, and external rotation. So let's quickly understand what those are. Flexion is the knee coming up above the hip. Abduction is this movement, so the knee coming out laterally from, from the midline of the hip. And then there is external rotation, which is this movement, so the opening up of the hip. So we're using all three of those uh, in this test. Now, why is this important? Well, any movement that can't happen from the hip has to happen downstream. So if that movement can't be done through the hips, it's gonna go into the knee. So it's going to produce problems unless we're able to move the hip seamlessly and functionally. So that's why it's important. This is not a pass fail test. It's just a good way to get an understanding of how far away you are from being able to demonstrate what the hips should actually be able to do. It's really simple, we can do it on the ground, we don't need any equipment, let's get into it. So we're gonna jump down on the floor. Yoga block can be handy for this, but you don't need it. Lie flat on your back. We're gonna test both sides. First, we'll test the left. So what I want you to do is put the ankle bone, real pointy bone on your ankle, place that right on top of your kneecap, just in that nice soft spot at the top of the knee here. Then all we do is relax. And we have a look at where the knee lands. Now, the important thing here is to not cheat. <laughs> we want you to be really honest with yourself here. There's no point trying to fake this. So just relax and see where your knee lands. Now, what are we looking for? Is we're trying to get the knee to be within two fist width, width distance, or perhaps a yoga block within distance to the floor without this hip trying to hike up. You see a lot of people trying to do better on the test and pull down here and this hip lifts off the ground. So we need your butt in contact with the floor there. And we just come into a relaxed position and have a glance at where the hip is. So two fist widths is good. Sometimes it's hard to reach. That's why I like the yoga block. I know that if I can get the yoga block at that level and my hip, my knee touching it, then I'm doing okay on the test. It's also a nice little drill. You can lay here and abduct and pull out and uh, engage this other glute. You can get it to pull down further, but for the test, we wanna to be totally relaxed. So let's test the other side now on the right leg. This will be interesting because I just did like a 40 something kilometer ride on the bike. So hips are probably a little bit tighter than usual, but I'd say I'm within two fits, fist widths there. So what if, what if you're up here? in this relax, if this is a relaxed position for you, we know you've got some work to do on your hips. What if you feel uh, clicking? What if you feel pain? What if you feel tension when you're doing this? Well, this is a test to help you just gain some understanding of where your hips are at. So I would encourage you to retest this in a couple of weeks because then you'll know if the stuff you've been doing has helped. Uh, if there's one particular mobility drill that you really feel is very difficult for you, then more than likely that's the one that you should be spending more time working on because it's probably gonna give you the best uh, result in terms of improving this test. So that's all there is to it. You don't have to track anything with this test, just make a note of it in the little box below. I mean, at most you could take a photo or film it and that will give you the most uh, kind of scientific approach to give you some understanding of whether the drills that you've done in the programming to come has helped on these tests. Once you've been consistent for a couple of weeks doing the hip swivels, then we can go into some more advanced drills. We can go into the standard 90-90 position. We can transfer in around that. We can come into our 90-90 hip hinge. Lots of different stuff we can do, but we start on this with just the hip swivels in the daily movement practice for hikers. So try that out, retest, see how you go.